together on the gridiron and they make a grand entrance. Cal Golden Bears, a team that won its first three games, then three in a row in the lost column. Game has been to a bowl now 16 of the last 18 seasons. Diamondbacks, off we go to Cheese It Bowl. And this kickoff checks up and sits down on the sideline. It is out of bounds officially for those guys, but for TCU, that was the whole central focus of practice. As this one goes down the middle and intercepted. Jalen Hawkins was the only one who knew the ball was thrown, and Cal has a pick. 4A into TCU territory. Brown the tailback. It's a launch down the field, and Noah reels it in. Sharp enough to get there before the safety gets over, but also to get over top of the corner that's playing under great play on the ball at the end. You can see the safety coming in late. That ball had enough zip to get there. Garbers, touchdown. He got by Collier to score. What do they look like? Not the same, I agree. Di Mercado. To the 45, first down TCU. TCU rushes three, pump and go. Sideline ball, it is caught! A double move outside by Jordan Duncan. It's the pump and then the go. It's the slugo, the slant, and then he'll position in a premium in this one. Coots punting to Rager. This one he will run, breaks one tackle. Rager on his way outside. Jalen Rager hurdles across the 35. The Jalen Reagan Rager is that guy on the field collectively, let alone for TCU that can change things in a heartbeat. I do not know why Stephen Coots kicks the football to number one. Olanalua. At the goal line and not through the goal line. And according to instant replay, ruling on the field overturned. It's a touchdown. Here's why. And a great job by the replay booth. Just before that right knee of Alan Lua goes down, he reaches across and penetrates that goal line. That's all he needed. He was second string starting the year. Darius Anderson out. Alan Lua up the middle. Across midfield, first down TCU. Rip at 33. And in this critical situation, TCU has said, you know what, we think we can get something done. And for Muelstein, who waited his turn to play. Now he fires for Jalen Austin, who gets torpedoed inside. Muelstein still with a couple timeouts. Di Mercado driven back by Funches, and you use the timeout here. Timeout remaining. Rager going the other way. How much speed does he have? It's Weaver to track him down. From 44. Butts. Here a moment. No, sir. Extra cheese it. Two starting with the third overtime. His tails, okay. It is hit. Third down. Forrest cuts it loose. Intercepted. Jawan Johnson for TCU. All the way to the 11 yard line. Jawan Johnson just sinks underneath the curl right outside. Johnson was. Dropping inside, read the quarterback's eyes, and continued just to let the eyes take the defender to the football. There's a sideline warning as well off this return, sideline interference. Yeah, up at the top, the official actually runs into someone in the TCU bench area. Pretty. Mule style. Quick throw. He's got the freshman Meeking with TCU on offense. Olanalua.
tunneling about a yard short. It'll be third and low snap. Olanalua nearly got by the third level. A couple of times that TCU has had the ball is the offensive line of scrimmage is starting to be moved. De Mercado. Second down. They're driving for the win. Olanalua back in. He slams on the brakes and Hawkins drives him back. They're both over by Gary Patterson. It's third down. Goes to Olanalua. And he looks like he's going to be just short down. Does Olanalua get the push that was needed? De Mercado back in. Right into the pile. Down. Another handoff. And another short run for De Mercado. It's a loss of one. De Mercado. Driving for extra yards. It's going to be a. Song. And it's hard.